Hello all. Today we will discuss about dynamic memory allocation. So what is dynamic memory allocation? Before learning the dynamic memory allocation, you first need to understand what is fixed memory allocation. For example, I have one simple array and that array is for example A. And if I am defining here A of 50, now I want to take the input from the user that enter how many numbers you want. So in this case, what we will do? Simple, we will ask to the user for the input. For example, enter how many numbers you want. So we will accept the N from the user. So I'm simply writing here scanf percentage D and percent N. Now we will iterate the loop. For example, I equal to zero, I less than N, I plus plus. Then we will simply get the number from the user. For example, enter the number and then I want the enter number one, number two, number three like this. So I'm simply writing here percent is D and I plus one. Now here you can simply write scan F percent is D and percent A of I. So you will simply get the input from the user and simply you can print the same. For example, I want to print the content of array then what we will do? Simple. We will write i equal to 0 to n and simply we can print the value over here that is the percentage d and a of i. So this program will do what? It will simply allocate the 50 size but it is a fixed size array. So what happened? If you are asking to store the n number, for example, if it asks me that enter how many numbers you want, if I store the 5 number, for example, 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50. Then what about the rest 45 numbers? Because it is a fixed size. So 45 space will be wasted. Now, suppose if I am writing here 5, then it will store only 5. What if I want to extend some more element? So in this situation, we need the functions which can allocate the memory dynamic. So in this situation, what happened? Array is the fixed memory, right? So what happened in this case? It will allocate the 50 size, but we want the dynamic memory allocation. And for the dynamic memory allocation, we have a four functions that we can use from the standard library that is stdlib.h. So in here in stdlib.h, there are, you can say four memory allocation or deallocation functions are there. So which are the function? There is a one function. The first function is known as a malloc. It is known as a, you can say, memory allocation. The second variety of the function is known as a calloc. The difference between the malloc and calloc is what? Calloc is by default initialized with the default value with the zero, while in malloc it is not default initialized. One more difference you can say that the malloc accepts only size while here in case of calloc we can define the n number that is count and size both. It is also known as a you can say that is contiguous memory allocation. Third variety is there and that is to reallocate the memory and for the reallocation of the memory we can use the function that is Realloc. So it is used to reallocate the memory. And the fourth variety of the function which accepts the pointer as an input and you can simply free the memory. So you can say that it is used to deallocate the memory allocated to the pointer. Now the question mark is how I can allocate the dynamic memory. So very simple. Instead of declaring an array, you can simply declare here pointer. Now, how to allocate the memory? So very simple, there are suppose there are three functions to allocate the memory. Whenever you are going for the realloc, then you can use the realloc function. But to allocate the memory, you can use malloc or calloc. Now, let me write the syntax over here for the malloc. Here in a malloc, return type is void pointer, malloc function, and here you can define the byte in a size. For example, suppose if you want to allocate the memory of integer, then you can write here that is integer pointer that will be we need to cast into integer pointer. Then we can write the function malloc. Then size of integer is required. Why? 
because to allocate the memory of integer we need the size of integer multiply n number of element so you can say that this is the simple example of malloc another function is there and that is calloc calloc has the two variety one is here you can pass the integer how many arguments are there how many numbers are there so here you can define get the n numbers from the user and the second is the size let me give the example for the same if you want the numbers that is the n number from the user then you can use the calloc function here you can pass n and second in second argument you can define a size of integer if it is an integer if you want to allocate the memory to character then you can simply cast to character pointer and here you can define the size of character so how we can do over here very simple once we declare our array as a pointer we can simply define here memory for example a is equal to now whenever you write the a is equal to you need to use the function over here that is malloc here you can write size of integer multiply by n now we need to cast this why because the malloc return type is void pointer so we need to cast into integer pointer this is the only thing we need to do once you done this the dynamic memory will be allocated and now there is no fixed size for example if you think that i want to enter five numbers then it will allow you to enter the five number and it will store the five number and it will display the five numbers over here so this is what the memory allocation is now what happened if you ask to and insert the 500 numbers then simply the size of the 500 elements will be allocated and you can get the same now suppose if you think that sir i want to use the calloc instead of malloc then you can put here comment you can copy this and here instead of writing the multiply by n here you can pass n as a first argument and here instead of malloc you can call the calloc and you will get the same result that you are getting using the malloc the difference is what calloc having the two arguments one is the size and another one is the byte and the second advantage with the calloc is what as it is the contiguous memory allocation the default value of the in a calloc function will be zero so i'm just inserting value 5 10 20 30 40 and 50 i will get the five element over here so this is what the dynamic memory allocation is now i want to reallocate the memory it means i want to append the data can we append the data yes and for that we have to use the another function and that function is known as a void pointer realloc realloc will do what it will take the pointer as a first argument and new size as a second argument example for the same for example if you want to extend your current pointer that is a then you need to provide here realloc you can provide the a now you need the new size for example earlier five elements were there now you are getting the three more element right so in short n plus n1 you can pass over here that is the new size earlier for example five elements now you want to insert three more element so five plus three you can pass here new size for example eight so here we can write size of integer multiply by old size plus new size right so this is the very simple syntax of realloc for example what i want to do i want to after getting this numbers i want to ask to the user please enter how many new numbers you want from the user you can simply write over here that is a is equal to and this is the what that is the reallocation in the a with the new size n plus n1 but what is n1 it means this is the old size that is you can say first five element i added now i want to get the new more elements so i'm simply writing over here enter how many more numbers you want so now instead of writing n i will write here n1 and that n1 we will add with the old size so what happened earlier five elements was there now new three are there so now new size will be eight elements right so 
whenever you run this you definitely need a n1 variable over here so now i am declaring one more variable that is n1 n is used for what that is for the first time memory allocation n1 is the next time that numbers of element that you want to add to your content now what we will do once we assign the memory we will simply run the same loop but what happened instead of running the loop from 0 we will run the loop from n why because now we want to extend our existing array so we want to add the element from n we want to add the element from n to n plus n1 so what happened earlier suppose if you have inserted the five records and now you want to insert the three records then your cursor will start from five to five plus three that will be eight right now once you get the data we need to run the loop up to n plus n1 why zero to n plus n1 just because n is the old size for example five and now three more element you have added so we need to run up to zero to eight and you can simply run your program that is build and run now what happened first it will ask me enter how many numbers you want for example if i enter five numbers then it will ask the five numbers from the user so i just entered the five numbers that is 10 20 30 40 50 and simply the content is printed over here now it asking me how many more numbers you want for example i want the three numbers then it asking me enter the number six for example the value of number six is a 60 70 and 80 then the content will be now 10 to 80 it means you can append the data you can append the data using the realloc function but remember once you use your pointer and if you don't want that particular pointer later on then you can simply free the memory so we need to deallocate the memory so i'm simply passing here that is the pointer in a function that is free so this free function will simply release the memory and the memory will be deallocated so this is the way you can use the dynamic memory allocation functions in C language. These are the four functions, malloc, calloc, realloc and free function. So that's it from my side. If you like this video, then please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.